the Jacobite steam train is described as one of the most scenic railway journeys in the world. The 84 mile round trip takes in some of the best scenery the Highlands of Scotland has to offer. The train was featured in the Harry Potter film as Harry travels over the Glenfinnan viaduct on his way to Hogwarts. The train usually consists of seven Mark I coaches and is hauled by either a Black 5 or a K1 locomotive. Today we will be hauled by Black 5 number 45212. The engine started life in Bradford and was withdrawn from Lostock Hall in 1968, but not before having the distinction of heading the final steam hauled revenue earning service for British Railways on the 4th of August 1968. Today we are travelling first class. With its luxury armchairs and table lamps, it certainly feels a bit special. <laughs> the train departs on time from Fort William Station on its way to Malague. If you enjoy the video, please make sure you drop me a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you do that, make sure to click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Shortly after leaving Fort William, we cross the Caledonian Canal at the start of Neptune Staircase. We will see these on our return journey later. The train starts to pick up speed as we pass the end of the Caledonian Canal at Corpac. Soon we are approaching the Glenfinnan Viaduct, made famous by the Harry Potter film as they made their way to Hogwarts on the Hogwarts Express.
train starts to labour as it pulls uphill towards Glenfinnan station. As we pull into Glenfinnan station, we make a 20 minute stop to allow a regular Scotrail service to pass, as most of the line is single track. It takes time to get up to speed as we leave Glenfinnan station, but with the slower speed gives you more time to appreciate the stunning scenery. Harry Potter fans will recognise the small island with trees on it as Dumbledore's final resting place in the Harry Potter film. Our next stop is Arisaig, the most westerly station in Britain. As this is a request stop, you will need to speak to the guard if you want to get off here. We are now passing the Silver Sands of Morar and the River Morar, which is the shortest river in Britain. 
the river flows from Loch Morar, which is the deepest freshwater loch in Britain. We then pass through Morar station as we continue to Malaig. Look out for the gentleman with the sign, wishing us a nice day. He's saying that we'll have a nice day, sign on it. As we approach Malaig, the islands of Aig, Rum and the southernmost tip of Skye can be seen. As we arrive into Malaig, we needed to decide how we wanted to spend our time there. You can go on a boat trip to see the seals, but it's time to get you back in time for the return trip, or stay in Malaig and sample the excellent fish and chips and browse the local shops. We opted for the latter, but instead of queuing at the first chip shop we saw, we headed around the corner to another one that had no queue, before finding a quiet place to eat them overlooking the harbour. After eating our fish and chips, we had plenty of time to browse the shops before heading back to the train for the return journey. As there was still some time before the train departs, we checked out other parts of the train and also the Harry Potter gift shop. This is a first class compartment, like the one used for the Harry Potter movie. The buffet car consists of second class seating and of course a bar, although a trolley service is in operation once we get underway. Yeah, we, we're not able to serve until we start moving, I'm afraid. So we're going to take this trolley along, and as soon as I come through the coach, I'll That's get that so for you. Okay. Lovely, thank, thank you very much. much. I mean. That's us here. Now oh, you sit this side, Brenda. Oh, you sit there this, this time. Okay. So I'll sit this way.
As we pulled into Aris Aig on our return journey, the afternoon Jacobite train pulls in to allow us to pass. We were soon back at the Glenfinnan Viaduct and as the train had changed ends we were now at the back of the train and had a great view of the train taking the curve of the viaduct. As we get closer to Fort William, we pass through stations such as Corpac before slowing down to 5 miles per hour to cross the Caledonian Canal at Bonavi. Neptune's staircase is a staircase lock comprising eight locks. It was built by Thomas Telford between 1803 and 1822 and is the longest staircase lock in Britain. the River Lockie and the Great Glen Way, which is a path that travels for 78 miles between Fort William and Inverness. <laughs> <laughs> 